So hello guys, so for DG number 4, the governor cannot be raised or lowered. So I started. So if this is the generator governor, then we're looking at the GM1 and GM2. And the GM1 and GM2, they go straight to the 65R and 65L lines, which is marked as number 6 and number 8 of 65R. So this side is on the main switchboard side and to check and to check these are the 65R and 65L and then should be number 6 and number 8 of 65R and 65L which is this GM1 and GM2, right? So now, where are this GM1 and GM2 going? That's what we need to trace. That's what we need to find. And there is no cable layout that they did on the vessel. So I've traced the cables from governor all the way to the panel, all the way to the main switchboard. I have tried checking the manuals if there is a terminal block in between, but I cannot find that manual. So I really manually traced the cables all the way to the main switchboard. Checking the manual. GM1 should go directly to the governor motor. GM2 goes to governor motor. So in local control panel, these are colored orange and white. And if they change the wirings, it should come here as colored orange and white. But they are the old cabling, so they might choose the junction box you need to find that junction box after persistently tracing the cables we have found out that they can be found under the GE4 main switchboard panel these cables are not yet connected they did not connect it and it says here it's GM1 and GM2 and these are the cables that we are looking for so after connecting the GM1 and GM2 cables, we started the generator number 4. But during starting, the frequency goes around 68 to 69 which activates the overspeed alarm. And if it is an overspeed alarm, the first thing that I am going to check is the governor. I check the condition of the governor motor. In which the condition is, is still okay. So I have decided to check the mechanical operation. So this was found into the limit. It was stuck in the fully open position. That's why during the initial start of the generator, it is giving an overspeed alarm. After several trials, we were able to free the stuck part. And then we tried again running the generator.
as you may now have noticed that the frequency is steady at around 59.1 to 59.4. Unlike when we are having this overspeed alarm, the frequency is going up to 69.9 Hz. So we tried to raise and lower the frequency to verify if it is responding well. As you may have noticed, the lever is now responding the way how it should be. After fixing the governor, we move to the next part which is to verify all the shutdown alarms if they are correctly wired. This is of course in preparation for the generator before we will put it on load. There are some sensors which are not also properly wired. But we managed to fix them and correct each and every sensor. This is of course being done while the generator is running in idle mode. After ensuring that all the safety system are working properly, then we have decided to put the generator on load. So the plan is to avoid overwhelming the generator, we will only transfer 5% of load. And then little by little, we will increase the load until we will have an equal load sharing. So it is the chief engineer who will do the on-load testing. So he will do the automatic synchronization and put the load sharing into manual once it is already in. Watch closely to these indications that signifies the generator is already on load. So now the generator is on load. Need to stop because I cannot run that much. Okay, After ensuring that the generator can be put on load, then I double check the condition of the governor. As an advice, I asked the second engineer to do an overhauling on the governor. So now let's do the final testing, which is the reverse power trip. I don't know how much that should be. It should be seven percent of the nominal load. Well, this is no more. How much you know? Four thousand five hundred, and then. This is already almost 10%. Just need to wait. Man, it's not tripping? Wait for it, it will trip. How many seconds should be? That's it. Yes. I need to do my rip rounds again. Yes. Hello guys, so I just woke up from a very tiring day yesterday or a very tiring week because of this generator number 4. But we are happy that everything is fine now. Generator number 4 can be put on load. All the safety systems were tested and they are all working fine. Reverse power trip is also okay. And thank you. I hope you learned something from this video. And please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and give a comment on what do you want me to tackle for my future blog. Thank you and see you on my next video.